leopard. Now, did you ever stop to think about what a leopard is? The Bible says, can the Ethiopian change his skin? Or the leopard change his spots? What are the spots on a leopard? They're black. Do you ever notice what they look like? They look like a, a couple, a, 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 what they call a rosella. And although some are solid, most of them are shaped like two big lips stamped on something. And the Lord's showing you something there when he picked a leopard. Because a leopard is a yellow-brown animal. That's Shem. And he has a white stomach. The Bible said his strength is in his navel, like Ki or Chi in Chinese or Japanese uh, uh, karate. He has a white belly. That'll be Japheth. And he has black spots all over him. That'll be Ham. Always remember the King James Bible runs anywhere from 10 years to 3,000 years ahead of the best scientific material you can attain with 35 years of college behind you. You'll never catch up with it. It'll run ahead of you every time. And that's what the Antichrist is likened to when he shows up. He's English-speaking. As far as the uh, economical way he goes, he goes like a bear. He's like communist Russia. That's what he is. And he's completely integrated into one big global family with black spots all over him. And there it is. In what? 1611. Which means anything from 1611 is so far ahead of an evening newscast you'd get in the year 2013, they wouldn't, it wouldn't be worth time for you to listen to it.